hello friends so our next question is regarding partitioning an array so what is partitioning partitioning means that i am not sorting the array but i am dividing the array such that in the left part all the elements are less than that element and in the right part all the elements are greater than the given element but those left and right parts need not be sorted the only criteria is that the leftmost elements are the left sub part has elements that are less than the pivot element and the right elements are greater than the pivot elements so let's take one example so if we are given some numbers like 65 70 75 80 85 60 55 50 45 okay so we are given these elements then our aim is and let's say that we choose this as the pivot element okay so our aim will be something like i should have 65 here the middle pivot element and all elements that are less than 65 should be to the left so like i see if i'm scanning i see 60 is less than 65 55 50 and 45 so they are all less than 65 similarly i see that okay 70 is larger than this 75 80 and 85 are larger than this so this is now a partitioning and what is the partitioning like so i have partitioned it with this element 65 all the elements towards the left are less than 65 they may not be sorted but the criteria is they are all less than 65 and here every element is greater than 65 so this is called partitioning and for our example we will choose leftmost element as pivot so let's see how we will do it so how to approach this problem so i tried this thing out just linearly okay so let's see so let's see so this leftmost element is the pivot so i start from here i have a pointer here so what is my aim my aim is that everything to the left should be smaller than 65 and everything to the right should be greater than 65 so i start from the pivot element from the leftmost element after 65 and the rightmost element now what should i see that okay this should be smaller than 65 this should be greater than 65 and if the case is true here then i will increase but here i see 670 is greater than 65 so i should stop here and I see 45 is so let's color it with some different color let it be green okay so this is uh, green and so what happens now so this stops here and this right pivot pointer stops here so now what I see that okay because they are at wrong places so I can swap A2 and A9 okay I swap them so now what it becomes so this one goes and 70 goes here so now what will happen we have 45 here and here we have 70 okay so now let's see so we are done with one while loop 
and next again we see that okay this is less than 45 i increment this one to this place again i see that this is now greater than 65 so i stop here i move towards this side this is less than 65 so again i swap 75 and 50 so 50 comes here and 75 goes here now i increment the pointer here also i decrement the pointer 80 and 55 again so 80 is greater than 65 and 55 is less than 65 i swap them so this becomes 55 this becomes 80 again the pointer moves here this one comes here so 85 is greater than 65 60 is less than 65 i swap them so what happens now and now this pointer comes here and this pointer goes here so this has exchanged so our work is done basically we have formed now so this is 45 50 55 60 they are all less than this element and so our j pointer left rightmost pointer comes to this place and 85 80 75 70 are here and one thing more so now i know that okay where j is there so i can now interchange these two then also our property will be satisfied and this will come to its correct place so what i do now is that i make swap j with this one so 65 comes here and 60 goes there so let's write this array again the new one 60 45 50 55 65 is the pivot 85 80 75 and 70 so we see now this portion the left part has all values less than the pivot element and the right part has all elements greater than the pivot element so this is what so this is the pivot element and we have partitioned our array with the pivot element and what we can say now is that this 65 is at its correct position because if in a sorted array what happens if it is at index j then it is larger than j minus 1 element so this is at its correct position even if we have sorted it completely like say 45 50 55 60 65 then 70 75 80 85 then also we see 65 is at its same position as it was in the partitioning case so this tells us that after partitioning the pivot element comes to its correct position so now let's see the code so that's what we are doing here we call partition we have integer array int m is the leftmost index of the array int p is the rightmost index of the array now what we do we make p is equal to am the leftmost element then we do is i is equal to m so initial array we start from here and the rightmost pointer i make it equal to p so now what happens i do i plus plus till ai is less than equal to v so till when i'm going from left so if the values are less than the pivot element so it means that it is fine so here if i'm going here and these are all less than pivot element then i'm fine with it and i will move forward till when till ai is less than equal to v but if it becomes greater than v i will stop there i and similarly for j so i'm moving from here and i keep on moving till i have values greater than the pivot element but when it becomes less i stop there then 
if i is less than j i have not crossed the left and the right pointers are not crossed i will swap ai and aj and this loop will continue till i have swapped all the non abiding pairs till while i is greater than j and finally what i do i put am is equal to aj so where j was there now am should come because it should come at its right position and aj will become equal to b so aj comes it to its correct position and the am is equal to aj so this aj element comes to the first position so this doesn't this line doesn't break with the rule that okay that the left part is less than the pivot element and then i return j okay so this is partitioning at this has this works in order of n times where n is the number of elements and this is used in quick sort and even in selection algorithm okay so thanks a lot if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and you can share this video information on your facebook and twitter's channel